what if people said, like, why do all these crazy musicians come from Truckee, from this mountain town? That would be really cool, and I always thought that. And so to go back a few years, in the early 90s, I owned a jazz club in, in uh, San Francisco. It was called the Up and Down Club. And um, that was, in the early 90s, was this really important part in San Francisco music history. It was the, the melding of hip hop and jazz. And it wasn't the first, San Francisco wasn't the first place it was going on in Brooklyn and New York, but it was really important in San Francisco and it's well documented. And, and our club, along with a couple other clubs, really spearheaded this movement. And during that time, uh, there was tons of young musicians. We were all kind of in our 20s. I wasn't a musician. And, um, <clears throat> and together, we were all part of the scene. And those, these guys went on to move to New York, become Bay Area legends, and, uh, and just flourished. So after the club, uh, I had a small production company. And we worked on a project about the Berkeley Public School music systems and why so many amazing musicians came out of there. And that's when I got clued into music education. I've, I've had a music club for, for 25 years now, so I have already, I'm, I love music. I'm moved by music. But music education is amazing. So then I moved to Truckee, and I start reading about the budget cuts that are coming. And music is always the first thing on the chopping block. And then there's a, there's a local high school that has their jazz program at like 6, six or 6.30 in the morning, almost like a punishment. <laughs> and, uh, and so I was like, man, I, I could help, and I, I really want to help. And uh, I'm not a music teacher. I don't even play an instrument, but I have produced albums. I've produced a play, and I produce concerts all the time. So I'm going to produce a jazz camp. So I got my guys. Right, so first call, Adam Thies. Adam Thies is from San Francisco. Adam is quickly becoming a San Francisco legend, and he was all in. I wanna put this super group together, these, these guys, and so I'm gonna get all band leaders, but these guys are gonna have big hearts, and they're gonna wanna teach, and they're gonna be into it. These guys are Grammy-nominated, Pulitzer Prize producing albums, they're in major rock bands. They fly in from Paris. They fly in from New York, all to our little mountain town. And they're a fish out of water, too. You should see these guys try to get on a paddleboard. Uh, you should see how sunburned they get after a day at the beach. But, uh, but they're here, and they're ready to go. So we have this really cool location in downtown Truckee. We have this corner lot. And uh, when you think about it, we are in the urban spot of the mountain town. We're in downtown, the train's going by, traffic everywhere, it's, it, it's cool. We have the restaurant, the bar, we have the hotel, and we have this big parking lot in the back. That's our music venue. So my, my partner, uh, the Burke family, these guys have been on board since day one, and they, they give us a sound system, the staging, the chairs, the tables, and most importantly, the, the shade, because it's summer and it's hot. So at 10 in the morning, 65 kids pack into this, this venue. And the musicians play a couple tunes. And we work on what genre of music we're going to do this day, what artists and the songs. And the music is blasting all over downtown Truckee. I mean, the jazz is just going everywhere. It's, 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 it's awesome. Then these kids break off into their different instruments all throughout the property. So they're in the back patio. They're in the private dining room. They're on the hotel balcony. They're crammed in the hotel rooms. They're on the sidewalk. It's like a Dr. Seuss house just bursting with music. Then they all come back to the venue, and the, the kids will all pour on stage. 30 kids will get on stage, and they'll take turns soloing. And soloing is a really big thing for a musician, for a kid. And uh, Peter Affelbaum, one of our great, great teachers, uh, told me this story about this 10-year-old girl who uh, had a couple years of piano experience, and she, she was with him, but she wanted to play the melodica. So she plays the melodica first day, and uh, Peter, Peter asks her, you know, so you're going to solo today? And she wanted no part of soloing. So that day, she watches the kids solo, and, uh, and then the next day, she comes back to, cam uh, to, to camp, and by the time they get into their, their, their instrument groups, Everyone's getting ready to, to go, and she jumps out of her chair and says, Peter, Peter, I'm going to solo today. And uh, Peter says, awesome. 
So she did and she killed it. And then after Peter pulls her aside and goes, you know, what, what changed your mind? And she's like, well, uh, I saw that it doesn't have to be the same thing every time. <laughs> And uh, that was, that's a really important musical lesson, and that was a really cool part of her to have the courage to do that and to kind of experience that. So one, one of the things that, that the camp also really does is it brings diversity to our kids. Uh, it, the musicians bring diversity in the color of their skin, where they're from, how they dress, how they talk. And uh, for these kids to be, be around them is, is a unique experience for them. We bring hip-hop as a form of diversity. And um, MC Radioactive has come up a couple times, and uh, Radio is this, is this great, uh, this rapper, beatboxer, plays with Michael Franti all the time, and he gave a clinic on, on beatboxing and brought the kids up and uh, would beatbox while they were playing. Uh, Dublin is this, is this great MC rapper from San Francisco, does sold out shows at the Fillmore, and he, uh, he gave a clinic on the concept of rhyming and putting your thoughts on paper. And when you think about it, these hip-hop guys, they're poets. And then we, we brought DJ Romanowski, and Roman is a great DJ and artist from San Francisco. And uh, Roman gave this really cool history lesson on where all the cool music comes from, the, the funk, the soul. And then, and then he gave a little tutorial with the kids about how to scratch and how you can scratch within the context of the song. And then when these guys do this, and then they sit in with this six-piece band, it's amazing. And, and all of a sudden, these kids are like, whoa, this is, this is really, really cool. This is not boring. This is not boring. Hip-hop is very, very alluring to, 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 to kids, and it should be. It's a true American art form, just like jazz. This year, we honored Prince and Muhammad Ali. We talked about how Prince was a once-in-a-lifetime musician and how he was the most prolific songwriter and, and one of the greatest guitar players that ever lived. Uh, we all wore Muhammad Ali t-shirts the first day, and I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that if any kid knew who Muhammad Ali was, they thought he was a boxer. Little did they know that Muhammad Ali was the greatest of all time human beings, and so it's important that they know that. We talk about how uh, Ray Charles and Prince took on the, the record labels as black artists and got their, their rights to them, got them taken to them. Peter told a story one time about Bob Marley's song, Small Acts, and how the meaning of that is if you all work together, you can take down social injustice. This, uh, like about two years ago, all the teachers, we took them to this old theater in, in downtown Chuck. It's called the Capitol Theater. Uh, 140 years old, there's bullet holes in the wall, and there's stories of Lola Montez in the early 1900s beat up on stage with a bear and a mountain lion. And we roll in there with six jazz musicians and a hip-hop artist, and we lay down 10 tracks. And uh, if that's not bringing urban to the mountains, I don't know what is. And we, we turn those ghosts on their ear. The camp also, I think, is really redefining cool. We live in an area where sports is king skiing, snowboarding, football, and uh, that's not like that in Berkeley. And but Berkeley's unique. But still, if you're the sax player in the jazz band, you're right next to the quarterback on the football team. That is certainly not the case here. But we're getting there. And I think that because what we think is cool is to be inclusive and teaching and immensely talented at the same time, but it's giving these kids, like, they feel cool about playing music. And uh, that's a pretty powerful thing if this is what you're going to do every day, is, is, is play music. So they're being taught about this cool by the coolest crew they've ever seen. So it's, it's, uh, it's a good thing. Uh, there's two components to the camp. There's the daytime where the kids play, and then there's a the nighttime where these world-class musicians come in and they play at night, and it's, it's, it's a, truly a gift to the community. So, but these are shows that would sell out any club in New York, Paris, Brussels, London, and so we always encourage the kids to come, and so the kids would come because I wanted them to see this close up. So the teachers, being the teachers that they are, started inviting the kids up on stage. <laughs> I mean, you gotta, you gotta imagine it, it's hot, it's, it's July, it's packed, it's sweaty, the stage lights, the bar, the, the cocktails are being made. And these kids are going to get up and sit in with these guys. 
Jordy, who's going to be here a little later, uh, who's right there with the trumpet. I called him a, a week ago because I wanted to talk about jazz camp. And, um, and I said, okay, Jordy, what's up? And he said that when he got up and played in, at that time for the first time and the crowd went crazy and he was playing with his friends and he was playing with these guys, that's the moment that he decided to take music seriously. And we found out how impactful it was to put these guys up at night. And so this is now a, a, a major part of our camp. I've seen some really cool things. The camp has now been going on for 12 years. I kind of always add a year here and there for, for publicity. But it's, uh, it's had time to, to, to get into the community. And um, this kid right here, Graham, um, Graham plays the violin. And he's weirdly talented, always has been. And uh, his first year he came, um, we asked him to solo. He was a young kid, and he got super upset, and he, he kind of stormed off. Graham is the pride and joy of our camp. Uh, Graham is at, in the UNR music program. Graham teaches at our camp. Gra I hire Graham to play at Muties. He's, he's bad. And uh, Graham soloed at my wedding in front of 250 people. That's Jesse Steele right there. Jesse Steele is a Truckee High School music teacher. That's so huge that now the music, that the local schools are on board somewhat. This is the first time, and uh, it's because of Jesse. And so Jesse's learning new ways to reach these kids because that's the one thing that these guys do is they reach these kids. UNR is one of the top jazz programs in the country now, and uh, they now send kids to, they send their students to our camp to work with them. So they're kind of the, the middle between the instructors and the kids. And these guys now are teaching the, the high school students private lessons on the side. The kids are now playing in the Reno Youth Jazz Orchestra. Some of the kids have gone on to major uh, music conservatories. And that's definitely not all the camp by any means. But I know we've played a part in that. Uh, kids are now playing in the streets. They're forming bands. Uh, this year, we took uh, a select crew from, um, from jazz camp, and we went up to actually Jordy's parents' house, and we brought a mobile recording studio, and we, we recorded uh, about six tracks. So you're 14 years old, and you're laying down tracks uh, in a jazz setting. It's, it's awesome. These kids right here are cool. And uh, they know they're cool, and they should. They're jazz musicians, and they have some urban in them, and that's a really good thing. And uh, I'm going to show you an example of that. I have some friends here that are, are in the jazz program. Um, I have Bennett Ariza on drums. I have Christian Nicely on guitar, Francis Hamilton on bass, Jordy Goldman on trumpet, and Vincenzo Pellegrino on piano. So here comes some cool. Cool. 